Now let's go ahead and save our project and we'll create an MP4. Let's start by saving our project. I'll go to File, Save As. I'll name mine Space City. AEP is your After Effects extension. Uh, pay attention to where it will save. I want to save mine on the desktop, but you could change that for yourself. And save. But really, I recommend saving it this way. And you'll understand in a moment. Go to File, Dependencies, Collect Files. Here, let's keep all. If you had a whole bunch of different compositions, you could select certain things. We don't have a whole lot, so I will keep it at all. And what's really important is that this is checked. Reveal collected project and finder when finished. Then click Collect. I'm fine with it calling uh, it Space City Folder. Saving to the desktop. Save and it opened up the folder for me. This way also created the .aep extension, so you wouldn't have to create that separately if you use this method, but this method also saves all of your assets. What do I mean by that? The images I used. I just have two images here, but bigger projects could have so many. And why do we wanna save that? Because if you open this up on a separate computer or you wanna send this to someone, who is collaborating with you, it, if you just send them this, it will have all these broken links. The images and other assets will not show. This does not create the MP4 for us. We need to do that separately. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can save your project as an MP4. The first way is saving it right inside of After Effects. So when you are ready, you would go to the Composition dropdown and then click on Add to Render Queue. You will see down here that it has added your project to the render queue. You may wanna check what it's going to be called. If you click on this name here, it'll bring up a window and let you see what it is defaulted at. You could change the name. You can also change where you want the file to save to. I'm happy that it will save right there in my Space City folder. That looks good. I'm happy with the defaults that are listed here. All you need to do is go way over here and click on the render button. It's a pretty small project, so it happened super fast. Let's see if I can go find it. I know that my Space City folder is down here. Sure enough, that wasn't there before. This is my MP4. I will click it open. I can make that a little bigger and see if it worked. This is QuickTime. Looks good. I'm happy with that. Now I'd like to show you how you can save this using Media Encoder, which is a separate app that works in tandem with After Effects. If you have not already downloaded or installed Media Encoder, uh, you want to do that now. Go to Composition, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. If you don't have it open, it will open Media Encoder for you. Media Encoder is essentially an extension of After Effects. This is where you go to compress and encode your file to turn it into an MP4. It opened up your file and placed it right here. This is my work. And it's telling me it's ready to encode. All you have to do is click on this green arrow and down here is where it's encoding and it's done. It's telling me it's done. It's that fast. If you have a really large project, this could take a while, which is why this is a separate extension. So you could keep working inside After Effects if this is taking a while to encode. And a great feature here is if you click on this link, it'll open it up and show you. So sure enough, here's my MP4. I hadn't renamed the composition, so that's the default name, Comp1. Um, I have a Mac, so if I double click, it will open it in quick time. And then I can press play and watch. And that's how you create an MP4. So I'm going to back out to the desktop. There's my Space City folder that we made earlier saving all of our assets and this is the new folder that was just created with my mp4 file inside of it.